Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Int Android 16 and just how good he is after his Extremes Awakening in DBZ Doka Metal. Now this is the newly acquired chance Int Android 16. He's an Android Cell Saga's lead on 130%. He greatly raises defense for one turn on his super attack while massively lowering the defense of the opposition. He has key plus 2, attack and defense of 160% and has guaranteed guard against all attacks. He has an additional attack and defense of 80% when attacking and a high chance of performing a critical hit within the same turn after receiving an attack. He reduces damage received by 16% whenever guard is activated up to a max of 48% and he gets an additional attack and defense of 80% and 160% respectfully and gives all allies key plus 3 and attack and defense of 58% when your team has Super Saiyan Gohan Youth or Super Saiyan Gohan Youth 2 attacking in the same turn. He has Android Assault, Mechanical Menace, Gentleman, Tatho's Nails, Infinite Energy, Solid Support and Fierce Battle as links. And he's on Android's Android Cell Saga, Artificial Lifeforms, Powerful Comeback, Revenge and Tournament Participants. He's pretty good. Honestly speaking, he's really, really solid. Uh, the big thing is with him, so... If you want to maximize him as a unit, I guess you would probably go for kind of like, you know, using him alongside Android 16, 17, 18, uh, maybe, you know, MVP 17 and then floating like Gohan Utes. I don't really suggest doing that because you don't need to maximize him. You don't need to maximize his link set. He's definitely a unit that you can either float to better facilitate Gohan or alternatively you can use as a tank to better facilitate Gohan. That's kind of where I see him. So although we'll be trying to maximize his links here, I don't think prioritizing his links are important. In terms of build, additionals do feel like the best way to run it with him because then you can get multiple instances of that greatly raising defense, which will elevate his defense with his damage reduction, with his guard to being very good. Remember, guard immediately kind of rapidly negates damage and that with damage reduction of 48% and also with him having a decent level of defense means that he's very likely going to be able to be quite strong uh, defensively. Now, if you use him to facilitate Gohan, then you can start to see some pretty crazy stuff. Remember the AGL LR Gohan, that kind of um, you know, it's still a very good unit, but now you can really facilitate that Gohan. Um, you know, for example, AGL LR Gohan, you know, he now has a lot more capabilities. There's a lot of support that he gets from Android 16. It also allows him to fully activate his passive uh, quite a lot, which is really, really good. Now, obviously, um, yeah, I don't want to say that this into Android 16 is restricted to um, yeah, I don't want to say he's restricted to like a uh, Android Cell Soccer team, but because like if you compare his performance without a Gohan on rotation to his performance with a Gohan on rotation, he's ostensibly a better unit. Um, obviously, he's still defensively sound, but the boost that he gets, that like extra, you know, 160% defense and 80% attack really just elevates him so much that him not being with a Gohan is kind of pointless uh, because of how much it elevates him as a unit and in turn how much he will elevate Gohan uh, as a unit. He also allows Gohan to activate um, his awakening condition, his active skill, way more easily. And all of these things coupled together kind of make it that, you know, Android Cell Saga is definitely his best team or tournament participants, whichever way you can get him alongside a Gohan. Uh, and yeah, I think he's just, he's just really good. Um, he does, they've really obviously altered him quite a bit, um, you know, from high chance of guarding to now having, you know, that big guaranteed guard, which is huge. He now gives attack and defense with his support, which is fantastic. And he also has damage reduction. He just finally is the Android 16 I think we wanted all those years ago to really accompany Gohan 
And now because he gives so much attack and defense and key, you know, linking or having Gohan next to him isn't such a big deal. You can prioritize Gohan's links with the floater for the most part, and thus Gohan can really start to shine. And I think we'll start to notice that. Um, all in all, very good uh, kind of addition for Android 16. Now, um, links wise, like I mentioned, you can obviously prioritize Android 16 if you want. Uh, Android Assault's a great link, Mechanical Menace is a great link, Tough as Nails is very strong as well. But like I said, your best options are probably to just run him as a floater or as a tank for Gohan. And so thus, I don't think it's necessary to prioritize his links. However, if you do want to, those are going to be where you want to kind of focus on as they give him huge defensive boosts. Uh, Android Assault, Gentleman, Tough as Nails, Mechanical Menace all improve him defensively. Infinite Energy is a great link for his Android's team. And generally, Android Assault, Infinite Energy, and Fierce Battle are going to be the most common ones you can get. And Gentleman is something you can help to trigger other units. But that's it for me. Overall, a great easy A. And I'm excited to see just how good he's going to be in future. But that's going to be it for me. See you next time. Bye.